Let's take it to the start. It was just me and my guitar, a dreamer on the road, no map, just all those stars. I never backed away. I... Time to bring you another full walkthrough of a brand new release from Tissel and Biscuit. This is from Sound to Song. This is the newest addition to their music programs. I'm going to explain to you the difference between all three programs that are going to be available as of tomorrow, because this releases tomorrow. I also have a discount code for you. All the things, one Do video, you stick around. Look at me and see that I'm the type of girl you're not really that used to. Welcome back, friends. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Erling with Erling and Company. As I said before, I received this in exchange for my honest review. This is from Sound to Song from Tissel and Biscuit. You guys know how much I love their shop. They are just amazing and fabulous. If you have seen my review from Woven Melodies a few years back, or a couple years, I don't know, how long has it been? That was over on my IGTV. I will link that one down below. That is a full walkthrough of the first one. And then there's also Living Harmonies, which was catered to older students, but they do build on each other. Stick around with me. From sound to song, and I'll tell you all about the theme and what you're gonna be exploring in this level is the one that is dead smack in the middle. So this one After. is Woven Melody. So if you're following them in sequence, Woven Melodies from Sound to Song, then Living Harmonies, but yes, you can flip it around too. So let's get to it. First, let's do an overview. Um, and I also have the Living Harmonies full walkthrough that I did was it last year? I think it was last year. <laughs> I'm losing track, friends. Help me out here. Uh, I'm losing track, so I have this out of the sleeve where I had it because of the glare. But you can now also download, um, obviously free, uh, free download, but you have to kind of add it to the cart. I think that's how it's set up um, last time I checked to really um, look at the difference straight from them of what each one um, entails and what age group it's um, targeted for. And also it will link the videos that I mentioned, but they're also down below. So this is the frequently asked questions about their music curricula. You guys know, I'm a fan, <laughs> I'm a fan, I love them. So Woven Melodies is for ages seven to 12 or grade second to sixth grade. Obviously there's wiggle room with these guys, all right? So you can adjust it however you need be. But Woven Melody is the tapestry of multicultural music. It provides detailed examinations of 12 instrument families, um, their histories, the musicians who play them. So you're really delving into a lot of the instruments, um, you know, the cultural elements of it, how it changes around the world, how that same instrument or similar instrument it is used throughout 36 Look. comprehensive lessons and includes 200 embedded links now you see me have this printed with the curricula this is for the purpose of this review this is actually structured in a way for you to use your guide digitally because there's embedded um links throughout the guide okay there is going to be timestamps um below so if you're very familiar with tissel and biscuit you do not need this overview you can go ahead and skip straight to this new curricula that's coming out tomorrow august 22nd 2023 i always have to say the year because i'll never know when you're watching all right so then from sound to song is tailored for ages 8 to 14 or grace three to eighth grade okay and then i'm going to go into all the elements that you're going to go over and these this is structured for 32 lessons which obviously you can stretch over the year or condense if you like to do music uh, more frequently and do it over a semester. Living Harmonies, which I reviewed, I believe last year, was um, it's tailored for ages nine to 14, so their oldest program uh, um, to date, and that is for grades fourth to ninth grade. All right, Living Harmonies goes on a tour of 10 musical genres from around the world, and it has like a broad spectrum of music, right, and those musical genres. Um, I love Living Harmonies and we have not done every single lesson in Living Harmonies because we really take our time. So my idea before I found out that there was definitely going to be a new one for this fall um, releasing was to um, spread out the ones that we hadn't done. But now I'm just going to blend the from the sound to song and Living Harmonies, the ones that I haven't done. If yet. you're looking to like you haven't done any, that is the order that they built on each other but they are also made to run independently. So if you feel like Woven Melody is too young or is not an interest, you've already studied um, instruments just recently, whatever it may be, but trust me, you have not done it this way. But anyways, if you don't wanna go here, but you wanna jump to this area or that, they're all built to be done independently. So it's okay to jump around. 
But if you want to go in sequence, it is a smooth transition because they build on each what other. Else am I going to fit another curricula? You really can do this once a week as one of your specials once a week, and then it will span you for the entire school year. Or if you want to do finish it in a semester, then you do it more frequently and then you can finish it in a semester and so on. All right. So, and there is plans. This is their long-term plans. There is two more music curriculas that they're planning to do. So friends, it doesn't end here, okay? I know I sound like an infomercial right now, but listen, this is how I sound when I get excited if you're not used to me, all right? This is how I um, write a second volume to Living Harmonies, and that is gonna continue to explore um, global genres of music and um, all the de um, developmental stages, and a fifth year of capstone curriculum for the late middle and high school students. Fabulous friends, so you're covered all year long. All right, now what you confirm from sound to song. Now, I do have a discount code that they offer um, for me to extend to my followers. I am not an affiliate. This discount is just a code that is extended um, to my followers um, that they were gracious enough to do. And it's a 20% off code, which is, I think, their best deal, unless they're having, like, you know, um, one of their um, no, sales. I have reviewed tons of their um, different curriculas, which I love love okay all right so from sound to song an overview of the design of music all right so the way this is structured is pretty rad all right let me put this back in here because it's gonna be all right me. so this curricula is meant to be used digitally okay because there's embedded links throughout the file not a separate file that you go ahead and um, click your links it's embedded throughout so it is best used digitally because you really are gonna you know if you see it here and they're like okay let me go back to my digital file and actually view um cast this video or whatever or not it's a lot easier to use it digitally so um for my purpose i like when i plan to have a physical copy i'm just that type of nerd um so i go ahead and print it myself and just put it in a binder and call it a day but you do not have to print it all right so there is also a workbook that goes along with this curricula we will take a look at some of the samples of those workbooks as uh, of the workbook as well this is a year-long curricula um based on the elements of music it's divided into four movements and i will show you what those four movements are because I just love it. And you know that it's somebody that is skilled musician, that has studied this, that has taught this, um, that they have um, written this. I've said this from the first one, Woven Melodies, that you just can tell you know what you're talking about, right? Have some information on how you can structure it and um, if you want it to last a year versus if you want it to last a semester. Obviously, the embedded links and things like that is goes over that. And then also why we study the elements of music. This is so, explore um, in this page. Also, um, letting you know that it, they're showing you the building stones of how music is created. So you had woven melodies where you were looking at the different impressions of um, culturally of how different instruments have evolved and be uh, in our use around the globe and uh, all the cultural differences and how that melded into what how we created music but then now we're going into like really down to the building blocks of the elements of music by exploring it through four different movements and then I will go over what those four movements are so anyway so you will develop your students ear for identifying elements of music and then appreciation right, so as the first well. movement is sound so you have music as a sound pitch high and low pitch instruments um then you have some profiles ella fitzgerald then tone uh, marked and unmarked tones instrument and tonal limits scales anyways you different get the cultures idea. different scales and how that influences um the different um, the second movement is order third movement is emotion and then i'll go ahead and show you here fourth movement movement is form and then that's how your sections are divided throughout the year so if you want to use these as block studies as we do like where words will inspire so we do a block study main lesson blocks you can divide it into these movements and tailor it alongside your history geography or whatever you want to do or maybe just a standalone you don't need to be that involved all right so second uh, movement you have rhythm finding the beat then you have like afro beats you have memorable um, melody. you have instrument voices which i am really looking forward to this one dynamics the power on um, the power Quality of volume. and so on and so on um then you have uh, the fourth uh, movement that we talked about was form so you go into the texture the layers of the texture and here um from sound to song with genre and then you will seamlessly go into living harmonies if you have not done that yet 
into the 10 musical genres that they explore in that first volume. So you can see that smooth transition. So this is the way it's structured. All the art here is created by Tissel and Biscuit. You can see, um, follow them on their Instagram page and watch, um, especially Betsy as yes, she's um, illustrating and the watercolor. It's just such a beautiful, put together in very intentional programs Here that they is do. how you would see your first lessons um, unfold. So you have the introduction music as a sound, and then you will see the underlying things that you see are throughout. That is your um, embedded links, okay? So um, as here, for example, some musicians even make music out of everyday sounds, like, um, and I, I'm gonna murder this last name, so I'm not gonna even try it. Um, but you can go ahead and click this, and then go ahead and cast as you are reading with your child and introducing the lesson, then you can support that with a visual element. So I love that approach because it's multi-sensory and it's not just like we're reading, we're reading, we're reading because we remember your college course of music appreciation and all that jazz. Yes, I said that. <laughs> all right, so here, again, you break out into the next lesson, which is talk about p um, pitch. And then you can really see how you can structure how much you want to fit into one day and how much you want to dive in. A lot of times I will take like this first section and I would do it over a couple of days, especially if they're, uh, I, you know, this is a house of musicians. So um, they really take a, deep, a deeper dive into everything that they explore when it comes to music and the arts um, in general. So I don't want to rush the process and it's also why we take in longer with Living Harmonies. But again, if even if you've done Living Harmonies, you can also backpedal and go back to this and then you can see how everything um, comes back full circle. So again, you go into now um, the profile with Ella Fitzgerald, um, Ella Fitzgerald. Woo -hoo, there we go perfect pitch and then um, go over how this relates to this lesson and then everything is tied in together with the profiles that they uh, present. Um, again, here, for example, each key on the piano keyboard captures a specific portion of the sound frequency. So, you know, you have the, like the science of music, right? And you can see that we move from low notes on the left to the higher notes on the right. So even if your child does not play the piano like my kiddos do, does not play the guitar like my kiddos do, or whatever not, or doesn't play any instrument, they can really still appreciate all these different elements. I want to show you this beginning part right here. Um, just a little glimpse so you can get an idea of how it flows. But again, I, I also don't want to give away too much, obviously. Um, but you can see how many of the embedded hyperlinks are here that really does support the lessons. And it introduces you to musicians from all over the globe um, that I have still continued to follow because it's just like my my... My kiddos, even when they were way younger um, with Woven Melodies, well, how long ago was Woven Melodies? Anyways, when they were younger with Woven Melodies, they really appreciated like the acoustics and stuff. Um, some of these mus musicians. Then, um, or for example, here you see the different culture, different scales, again, trying it in. This is why I say that these resources are such a great way to incorporate with your social studies um, and they lend itself to, you know, go hand in hand, but you don't have to be that involved. You can just do this as a separate course altogether. And then you go into your second movement here and then um, your studies continue. Um, and just really quick um, to show you um, what the workbook looks like. And you can choose obviously to print this if you like. My children still use their notebooks um, and don't print it. So I just show what, you know, the prompt is and then we pick and choose what we're going to do from it um, and then do our own little spins as well um, with our main lesson books. Um, but you can obviously print the workbooks as many times as you need for your immediate family. Now the student workbook, you are going to be presenting the lessons from your essentially your textbook with what I was been showing you. This is going to directly correlate with each and every lesson. So you will present a lesson with your student, um, do the embedded links, do all that together, and then you go ahead and follow it with the workbook as you see the different types of lessons. So you're going to be exploring so many different um, portions of this and also having a chance to create your own sounds. And again, you do not need any um, experience as a teacher in music and you do not need any experience as a student, even though I know I am coming from you from a musician household, you do not need any experience whatsoever to do this curricula. This is written in a way that supports families that have zero background with this.
We have always felt that the workbooks have been very intentional. The ways that the questions are structured, it's not just like a dry workbook that is repeating questions over and over again with the same sequence. It really um, ties back into the lessons, into meaningful discussion and meaningful feedbacks. And also, like I said, the opportunity to create and have some hands-on elements. I am showing you the About Us section because I really love for you to take the time to learn about Betsy and Tim. They really are an incredible duo that have created so many um, beautiful intentional programs. I mean, in the art, my gosh, the art. I mean, my daughter really appreciates and that. Continues. And I mean, I have to say... <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> I I love this art. I just, they're just so talented. They're absolutely talented. But I want to leave you with this uh, because I love the note that they, yes, I said no, I, I'm full of puns today, um, that they chose to finish this um, course up with. But if you have any questions, um, let me know down below. Um, if you have some comparison type of questions or um, having trouble to decide which one you wanna do, um, again, you can choose to go in the order that it is intended to, but also it can stand alone. Um, and you can use my discount code Arlene20 and that will give you 20% off your purchase. This releases tomorrow. I greatly appreciate you. Hit subscribe and like and share this video so we can get the word out. And with this note from Tizzle and Biscuit. To the musicians who feel the music in their hearts and voices and fingers and minds, thank you for teaching us to play along. To the learners whose heart and voices and fingers begin to trace along the old lines, thank you for joining us in the song. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Born to roam, off you go. I think it's time to go.